Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, we are at Love Bird Restaurant. Okay, it's called Love Bird Restaurant, uh, Caribbean and American. But I don't know what's American about this place, y'all, honestly. Okay, so I have some beautiful oxtails on top of some rice and peas. I have some, um, what are these? Plantain um, and two sides it's two sides of cabbage and i have these pickled like peppers and onions i forgot what it's called i'll put it right here if i can remember y'all um i have some orange flavored water uh -huh. yes y'all and i accidentally got this before i saw that they had water yeah you go i'm not drinking that and yeah let's pray Amen. Happy mother flipping Sunday, y'all. I have been craving oxtails, but let me have some of this. Hold on. Mm -hmm. They're not as ripe as I want them, but it's all good. Oh, mm, it's hot. Oh my God. Jesus Louise. Let me get some of it. Oh, oh my God. Look at this oxtail, y'all. Oh my God. Mm. Let me get some of these pickled onions, y'all. This stuff is so good. Like, ugh. Hold on. Mmm. 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 That is it. Mmm. Y'all was reading some of y'all's comments. <laughs> and y'all, that comment section is so refreshing. At least when I checked it, it was so refreshing. I want to thank y'all so, so much for all the nice freaking comments. I'm like, dang, what? Like, I didn't see one bad comment. Yeah. And I was loving it. Absolutely loving it. Oh, look at this Mm. Mm. It's so hot. Mmm. How good is thumbnail? Hope that was good enough. Mm. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, I'm scared to uh to freaking eat this because I know this is like what is kind of pepper is that? I know it's hot. An orange pepper, I don't trust that. That's gonna be too hot. Mm-mm. Mm. mm, -mm. mm. Mmm. 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 What y'all eating with me? Y'all eating? Y'all, before I came here, um, I saw on the side, of, I saw this truck on the side of the road selling stuff, right? Mmm. Now, usually always pass it up. Not this time. I stopped. Y'all, they had watermelons, pineapples, oranges. But to me, the only thing that looked like 
it just came out the field was the watermelons but i did get oh and the mangoes y'all the mangoes as big as my freaking head i was like dang so i bought the whole box they had a box of i think it was six of them in there humongous for uh twenty dollars the watermelons were 15 and i got some um honey from mexico Ooh, yes honey i cannot wait Yes, honey. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh, do y'all know that Nike let um who was that? No, we talking about Kyrie now, y'all. Mmm. Nike cut ties with um Kyrie. Nike, can y'all believe that? Wow really nike so um and then i heard that he didn't already apologize like i th i saw the tweet unless you know somebody you know uh hacked his account but they said he apologized but honey oh and then This, he has a lot of stuff that he has to do before they even let him play another game. <clears throat> My wrong. Mmm. It's just starting a conversation, y'all, that I just... I'm so happy about that. Because even if he didn't mean to start a conversation, he did. You know what I'm saying? Him and Kanye. I didn't know I was a Jew. And I didn't know, like, um, being Jewish is, uh, a religion. Allegedly. But yeah. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Hmm. This is so good, y'all. You gotta get a little bit of this with every freaking bite. Mmm. Y'all, it's getting hot. Oh! Oh my gosh. Mm. Ah! oh my god it's hot so y'all today oh and i was also reading y'all's comments and y'all told me that um i should go to a um tattoo shop where they have better quality jewelry <laughs> Y'all say Clarence didn't. I didn't even think about it like that. Like I just thought about what well, they pierced ears there, so they must have good jewelry. 
but I guess not. So I'm gonna go to, I don't know what tattoo shop I'm gonna go to because the one that I went to, this is all they had. They have no other freaking options. I'm like, so. Mm. Mm. See, I want to make sure I do that today. I was so freaking hungry. Mm. Yeah, y'all, today is a beautiful day. It is literally 70, I think 73 degrees. Oh, no, now it's 77 degrees. It warmed up. But earlier, it was like 72. And it felt so good, y'all, outside. Oh, my God. So, y'all, we trying to wean Jaden off of soda, y'all. And it is so hard. Like, it's so hard. Does anybody have any, like, tips and tricks to, like, get a child to, uh, shy away from So, I already know to stop buying it, okay? But that don't mean that he's, you know, not going to ask for it and have a fit because he can't get it, you know? We just want to... You know, cut down the sodas. I would like to eliminate sodas, period. Because sodas are not good for anybody to be consuming. And, but yeah, I just, I, I, now I forgot what I was going to say. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mm, excuse me. We just, we don't want him to, you know, have a nervous breakdown. I know it's going to be hard and there's going to be some hard days or whatever, but, you know, we don't, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you have an autistic child, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. We don't want him to get dehydrated. How about that? Yeah. We don't want him to get dehydrated. Like, if he just refuses to drink anything but soda. You know what I'm saying? Or milk. He loves milk, but I want to be able to hurt him. I mean, he can drink milk without the chocolate syrup or whatever, but he likes that. You know? But I don't want him to drink, so I'm going to try to get him off of that, too. But if anybody, because I read up on Reddit, um, there was a lot of moms on there, and they had autistic children that were, like, that's all they would drink is soda, and they said to try, um, sparkling water, and, like, put some juice in it, but I don't want to put no juice in it. I don't want to replace bad stuff with, with more bad stuff. Even though it's not as bad, but it's still bad. You know what I'm saying? Um. Mm. Mm. Yeah, my phone is running out of space. I'm just like, dang. I don't like erasing nothing out of my phone because I always find that eventually I need it. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? I need it. I need, a, I need that picture. I need that clip of that video. Mmm. 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 Is this a bone? I know it ain't. 
Yeah, and I don't want him to like eat chips anymore. Like, there's a lot that we're gonna be working on. But I know other people are going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing. Just give your your good advice in the comments so I will be checking them. Mmm. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> yesterday um at the end of the video when i told you that, that 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 man had pulled up beside me like real fast i don't know if i explained all that or not did i anyway he like swerved by my car um y'all like i thought that he was trying to holler at me right and he he might have but i was thinking again i was like i hope he wasn't trying to traffic me like, what y'all think? Do y'all think he was trying to snatch me? I don't know how he would have snatched me with me in my car, but do y'all think that's what he was trying to do? Because he only left because I started taking this stuff down real quick. It was cute, man. was like, I'm out of here. Like, I wonder what that was about, y'all. I'll tell y'all, I was in a parking lot with no other freaking cars. No other cars. I was in I was in the Westwood the old Westwood Mall parking lot. Y'all. Yeah. Oh, and when I left, remember when I told y'all that I think that they cleaned the area up. There was like no more prostitutes or whatever, right? When I was leaving, y'all, I don't know which street it is, but it's the street that is closest to that Whataburger off of Bissonette. When I tell y'all, it was it was galores of freaking girls. It was like 15 or 20 girls on this one street and it, that street was packed with people. I was like, what's going on over there? And then I, when I really looked, I was like, oh my God. So that's where they moved the party. Instead of on Cent Century Street, they're on that street. I don't know the name of it. Y'all, I couldn't be, believe my eyes. Like, it was like it was a big old party over there. Cars just going past, I guess, you know, trying to see who they wanted to get. I don't, I'm not sure, but. That's why they moved it. Maybe, you know, those people that were um, protesting said, you, not, you cannot do this on this street no more. Like, maybe they ran them off. Now they over there. Freaking wow. Freaking wow. I guess the police don't want to have nothing to do with that area, honey, because every time I go over there, I don't never see a cop. Ever. Mmm. In that whole area over there. up and down business it's like somebody um bought it or something mm. Mm -hmm. and it's weird because they have a timmy chan over there that nobody is ever there nobody every time i go over there it ain't nobody in the parking lot i'm like what is going on with this timmy chan i remember back in the day Timmy Chan restaurants used to be packed, especially the ones in Third Ward. Mm. But I'm thinking maybe they just put that um, Timmy Chan's there off the of Bissonette. Because I don't ever remember there being a Timmy Chan's over there. Oh! 
Yeah, these weren't as ripe as I like them. You know how like um these are sometimes like ooey gooey and like sweet and stuff. Like it's still sweet, but it's not ooey gooey. It's not ripe. Let me dig in here and see if this one might be a little bit. Is it? What is this? Oh, here got one. You see that? That's right. Oh, got gravy on it. Oh, that's good. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm -mm. such a bad girl. Look what I did. The only reason I got it is because the guy who was taking my money, he was like, the the owner, she made those. And I was like, yeah, give me one. And the owner, she was standing right there, but she was busy. Um, I was like, yeah, give me one of them. I can't wait to try it. But I don't know if I want to try it privately or with y'all. I don't know. I don't know. You know how sometimes it's so much better when people aren't looking at you? <laughs> Why you eating it? You know what I'm saying? And today is a workout day. So I can do it if I want to. No, I'm playing. There ain't nothing wrong with having a little low treat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got one of these left. Look how big it is. <gasps> this the biggest one. Mmm. That's why I make that a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, delicious. Well, that was a bone. You know what? I think I just need to use my fork. Ah! I'm glad I checked them down in comments because I was really gonna go to Claire's. Y'all was gonna be laughing at me. I was gonna go to Claire's. I wonder how Kim's business is doing. Since people know that Kanye owns some of it. I wonder. And I want to know what Kanye is doing right now. Like, what are you doing? What do you, you know what I'm saying? What you got in the works? When is it coming? Let us know something. He's probably moving in silence though. You know what I'm saying? So they don't know what the deal is you know what i'm saying so they won't try to stop whatever he's trying to do but i was saying i wouldn't even say nothing i can't wait till that lawsuit come though for adidas because allegedly he's gonna sue them for breaking that contract because he did mention that excuse me my god and um he was talking to the paparazzi and he told them adidas um you know abruptly stopped you know his money or whatever and and he said they broke the contract ha! adidas had to have known that he would be able to sue them like they had to have known that if they're any type of business people you break a contract you get sued and you gotta pay. So I can't wait for that, okay? And hopefully he wins. Because why wouldn't he win? You know? Why wouldn't he? I do say you know a lot. <laughs> and why is this? Sorry. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat all the fat. Ah, her grape is so good. Mmm. Her gravy is so good. It is so consistent. I'm full. I don't know if I'm baby. You got cake. Mmm. Yeah, I just all of a sudden got super duper full. I didn't even read nothing else. Woo! Oh my God! I ate too much. Mmm. That snuck up on me good, boy. Mmm. Mmm. I watched this um video. This girl made this video and she was like, she showed a message that somebody in her comments um was telling her about her big nose. And it was a black woman. I was just like, when are we gonna stop this? Like when we are black, that's why her nose is big because we're black. Some of our noses spread like that, you know. Some of our noses are just they're big because we're freaking black, and black people have big noses sometimes. Not everybody, but like, can we please accept that, please, and stop acting like when you see a black woman with a big nose that it's just something that don't nobody else have, you know? And it be our own people saying something. Like, what do you think she's gonna do about her big nose? She's not gonna get anything done to it. Like, it's her nose. We gotta stop making people feel like their features are not good enough because you don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't even your business. You ain't got to look at her. You know? I just cannot stand that. I can't. Like, people used to talk about my nose. They still talk about my nose. Call it a pickle nose. And I'll, I don't care. I thank God that I love my nose. You know what I'm saying? I used to didn't. Because I've been talking. When I tell y'all, I will get talked about from head to toe. From head to toe. Nobody ever talked about my hair, though. They always said how pretty my hair was. That was one thing that no one ever talked about. Except when I had it really, really short. And remember when Bald Headed Hose was out back in, in high school? I think it was Bald Headed. What was it? 89? 89.90. I see some Bald Headed Hose. Guys used to say that if you had like short hair, when you walk by, they would say that. So, yeah, that was the only time, though. Um, but, yeah, people used to talk about my skin color, my nose, um, what else? How skinny I was, tall and lanky, all that, y'all. Like, oh, my skin, when my skin was bad. Yeah, I had really bad skin in sixth grade, like in middle school. Um, it was real bad, y'all. They used to call me Roadmap. And this one Asian guy, y'all, he used to call me Butter. And I never knew why he would call me. His name was Kevin Chang. Oh, he made, he would irritate the love out of me every time I saw him, y'all. And then I started thinking, does he like me? I never said a word, y'all. Never. But when I tell y'all, he would pick on me every single day. Every day until he stopped going to the freaking school. Yeah. So, I'm thinking he might have had a crush because he gave me too much attention, y'all. Too much. Yeah, but yeah, everybody in school bullying me, calling me um, Butter. Butter. Nobody even knew why he called me Butter, and they didn't know why they were saying it either. They just thought it was funny, and they thought it would hurt my feelings. It did. <laughs> it hurt my feelings, but yeah, those are some times, boy. Those was sometimes. Anyway, that's it, y'all. I'm full. <clears throat> I hope that you guys enjoyed this Jamaican meal. Mm. 
best Jamaican food, y'all. I'm trying to. We have good, other good Jamaican food in Houston. Yes, we do. But this is my favorite place to go. It just really is. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's my favorite place. I just wish y'all would get some sorrel. Y'all, they haven't been having my favorite drink, sorrel. They've been having it. So I just wait until they do. Is that a piece of meat? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So, I just hope everybody has a blessed and wonderful freaking day. Um, And hopefully, y'all got to the end of this video. This is a giveaway. <laughs> this is a giveaway um i will let's see what question am i gonna ask that i need for y'all to answer um <clears throat> it has to be something to where i know that you are a supporter of mine I have two favorite colors. I have two favorite colors. And I said it recently on one of the videos. I sure did. Yep, sure did. Wait, did I? Anyway, I've said them, both of them. So, um, let me know my two favorite colors in the comments. And, um, I'll cash app you. So I don't know if because people be having a problem with putting a cash app in the um in the comments. Is that a problem or something? Like because I'm gonna need your cash app. Um or or maybe I could just uh pick the person and they could send me their, their cash app. After I pick you, maybe you can email it to me or DM it. No, don't DM it to me because it might get lost. Email it to me um, after I pick you. And it's like, mm, let me see. I'm going to pick that because I, the, I had to pick it from the video in the morning. So on the that next day. Not this next video, but on, anyway, I'll have it in the um, in the title um giveaway winner announcement or whatever but yeah my two favorite colors let me know in the comments anyway make sure y'all thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos everyday videos hey uh uh uh, uh. hey 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 uh uh and i will see you guys on tomorrow make sure you put um two favorite colors my two favorite colors and um make sure you're following me on here okay follow me on youtube and um yeah follow me on youtube let me know my two favorite colors and yeah i'll just i'll just pick from there i wonder who's gonna get it i have a feeling nobody's gonna freaking guess i have a feeling anyway and then i'm doing this giveaway at the end right here i know a lot of you click off at like friggin nine minutes or eight minutes with, with my videos so anyway yeah and i will see you guys on tomorrow peace